On today's expedition into the wild heart of Orlando, Florida, we follow a ferocious feline, usually known for their remorseless habits to all who cross its path. This primal saber is called Little Mao, promptly named by the unassuming patrons of his new territorial enclave. Little Mao has managed to capture the dusty hearts of his saviors, or so he thought. As he gorges on two meals a day, unbeknownst to him, his balls were taken away. Whether he finds out or not, a rustic tomcat like himself doesn't let life's unfair, unsporting happenstance get in the way of his daily routine. Oh, a bike? It looks like someone bought their last ditch effort to be happy with themselves. As we can see, Little Mo needs no such machinery to be happy. He is content to sleep on his heated blanket, which he lobbied his caretakers into providing for his expert mousing service. Nevertheless, as winter can approach a chilly 50 degrees in central Florida, Little Mao, much like his ancestors before him, seek to coax the unsuspecting humans with a gift. A beautiful cardinal or brown pigeon, as he is optimistic this refined and distinguished effort will perpetuate his passage into the warm cottage house that he has so longed to be a part of. However, the occupants of the cosy cottage quite enjoy watching their Avery friends pick at the fruits of their labor. And so, to not repeat the tragedies of the past, they erected a fence to Little Mo's disappointment. It appears that someone in the toasty cottage home is desperate to preserve what little jubilation they have left. And now, as we have watched Little Mo, Little Mo watches his dreams fly away. Will our furry orange boy with only two brain cells to his name ever get his balls back? Will he be able to join his six other tamed feline compatriots inside the abode he so fantasizes about? We will find out when our not-so-questionable cameraman finishes documenting the tumultuous snafus of the animal kingdom in and around his home. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.